Are sunflowers killing your garden? The internet seems to be a buzz this year with the allelopathic properties of sunflowers. And what does that actually mean? Allelopathy, there we go, is a way that plants can change the environment around them or have an effect on other plants. And sunflowers, tend to exude this property by suppressing the way that other plants may grow. So they could be very good for weed control in certain applications, for example. But like I said, the internet this year has exploded with, oh no, if you have sunflowers in your garden, your other things aren't going to grow that well. So I thought I'd make a little video exploring that and showing what's happening to the things that are growing next to sunflowers in my garden. So right here, I have a volunteer sunflower, and that means that a squirrel, a bird, the wind, something came and deposited a sunflower seed here in this garden bed. I didn't plant it myself, but I allowed it to grow. And why not? They're beautiful and they're attracting a lot of pollinators. And they just so happen to be next to a zucchini squash plant, a cucumber plant, and a zinnia plant. And if you look at lists of plants that aren't inhibited by sunflowers, these three are actually on them. And I would say, just to spoil it a little bit, that that has been my experience with this part of the garden as well. As you can see, my cucumber is even coming over here and starting to grow around my sunflower. Here it is, all the way over here. And I've harvested quite a few cucumbers already, but there are more coming. There you go. Here's a beautiful one here that I should pick. This is a, a lovely pickling variety of cucumber, and this is just about perfect, maybe even a little big. Here's another one. Here's another one. My cucumber is doing great. And my zucchini, which I'm actually on top of harvesting the zucchini so they're not gigantic this year, has also been very productive. My zinnia over here has some beautiful flowers, some about to open. This one over here I really love is already open. This cucumber, it's also doing, you know, fairly well, but it's actually a little bit behind the one next to the sunflower. It's growing up along with the morning glories and it does have some lovely little babies coming as well. But it's certainly not doing any better than the cucumber right next to the sunflower. So, does that mean that it's all a myth when it comes to the home garden? You can grow sunflowers where you like and it's not gonna be a problem? No, I don't think so. I think that there is something to this idea that certain plants will be stunted next to sunflowers. Now, I tried to do a Google search and couldn't actually find anything convincing or scientific. So we're going based on my anecdote right now. But these little carrots right here have not done well at all. They do get enough sun and water that I would expect them to have some good growth, at least as big as the carrots over in my son's garden, which were planted at the same time and are the same variety. But look at these. These ones are okay. These little tiny ones are just barely hanging on, but not giving us really any growth at all. And they're in this bed with all of these sunflowers. So I would have to make sure to control for all kinds of variables to know for certain, but I am going to be a little bit careful with some of my root vegetables and how close I'm growing them to sunflowers in the future. If you've noticed anything in your garden this year, I would love to hear about it and add to the anecdotes, or even better, if you have actual data, scientific studies that have been done, that'd be great so that we can all learn. However your garden grows, keep growing as a gardener.